before. I met them in the pit before I was six years old. When I'm in the pit, nobody comes to talk to me. I set my strips in the pit and catch two sometimes. We've always done the Victorians as a topic, but this is the first year that we've really taken that a, a step further and really related it to Blantyre specifically. Although we started off learning about the Victorian era, era generally, we then very quickly started off with a, a kind of history detective tour of Blantyre and we went outside and looked for clues. I didn't really know there was a mine under Blantyre and that houses would fall through if there was a mine built underneath it. A lot of people that lived in Blantyre um, were Irish and only 227 people were born in Blantyre. We finished with the Blantyre explosion as that was really a huge event um, in Scotland at the time. There was 260 minors that died and uh, 250 fatherless children. It was very sad hearing about all the things they had to do, like going down in the mines. I think actually having started this project and having the focus within Blantyre. So they had an affiliation with the characters that came from the history and people that had been affected by the disaster and the lives that they'd led in Blantyre at that time. And of course, this was great grandparents and great great grandparents, so they could actually relate to this. And I think that at first gave them a much greater impetus to really take on board the knowledge and the research and, and be encouraged to really push it forward. And then because of the level of understanding that they had, they could then take that and then put that into their performance because they had the confidence to do it. In most topics, if you can get that kind of heart of something that children can relate to, it makes a big difference. The coal mines shaped the town that's here now. Before the coal, it was very rural and the coal brought people. The miners' welfare have been fantastic. I don't know if we could maybe have done this quite as well without them. Um, they have given not only time for them themselves, but also we were allowed to go and visit the Miners' Research Centre and they gave us the opportunity to, to meet with ex-miners, with um, view the different artefacts that they had, give us a really kind of personal feel as to the experiences that they had rather than the children just researching on the internet or looking through books. And, um, and it really made a difference. So. All our thanks go out to the, the Miners Resource Centre. One of my friends, James Confield, met Miners himself and lived in a point for the work by explosion. And James come back with the Miners Road, the last time I knew all the shoulders. The next time the Miners belong to be, most of the trousers tied at the knee. Eight days for an old tree coat, muffled and tied in a hot tree hill. I've never heard it done that way before and suddenly it came alive when kids are actually reciting it to me. I really was very pleased to hear it. I'm very honoured to be here today.